Imagine 525 incredibly dedicated people working together every day to make our mission possible. These are the true unsung heroes here at the home. Without them, we simply could not do what we do. Support Services is here to meet the children's daily needs without interruption. We make sure they get fed properly. We make sure they're comfortable at night. We make sure they got lights on. We, we, we make sure they got clean linen. And it takes a lot of work behind the scenes to make that, to accomplish that goal. I'm Brian Meyer, I'm with um, Environmental Service. I've been here since uh, March of 2014. Uh, this is these kids' sanctuary here. So I treat this place as if it was my home. I wanna come in every day, keep the place clean, keep the place fresh, keep the illnesses and sicknesses and stuff out from the kids, try to keep them healthy. People don't think about the, all those that are kind of behind the scenes. It is not just one department at all. And without every department, the home cannot run. Hello, my name is Joan Carter, and I've been here for 25 years and eight months, and I work in laundry. And I've always worked in laundry because I love doing laundry. I want my children to look good, and I want them to smell good. So I feel like laundry is just almost as important as anything else, you know. So Martin has been with the home for multiple years. He started in our maintenance department and moved over um, into a wheelchair specialist. If they don't have a wheelchair that's made for them, they would be stuck in bed. They would not be able to navigate through our facility or out in the community. You know, we're uh, making these children's lives more comfortable and better. Uh, by supplying them a well-fitted chair, custom chair, and uh, custom aesthetics for them as well. So yeah, it's rewarding to do that. The kitchen is a very important piece of Home in the Innocence because of food is a very important piece in people's lives. Hi, my name is Betty Richardson. I worked at the home for 18 years, and my title is Food Service Leader. I feel like it's more than a job, you know, it's, it's personal. <laughs> yeah, it's very personal. You get up in the morning and you realize that you, you know, you have to be here at a certain time because the kids gotta go to school, you know, and it make you come to work. <laughs> Our maintenance team is absolutely great. This campus is 22 acres and it makes sure everything is, is working properly. The importance of what we do is to provide uh, the work that is needed here in this facility. Uh, you know, making sure that the temperature is right, making sure that everything is operating correctly. Because at the end of the day, we're here for one reason, and that's the children. Hey, I'm Nicole. I'm a resident enrichment specialist CNA. And what we do is activities to enrich the lives of our residents here. So whether it's reading interactively with the switches, doing arts and crafts, taking them swimming. Wednesday nights, we have family swim night. When you see those kids get in the water and the smiles that comes to their face, it's just, it's wonderful. I found uh, the jewel of a secret that is Home of the Innocents smack dab in the middle of <laughs> Louisville. And I was able to kind of see, you know, how beautiful it is and, and the work that's going on here. And I just fell in love with the mission. We change lives. And not only do we change them, but we also help them grow and achieve things that they might have thought had never been possible before. Well, generally when you uh, deliver a new chair, it's beautiful, you know. It's got the new design embroidered on it, their name on it. You know, new seat belt, new harness, it's all new. So it just looks like a new car off the lot, you know. And you wheel it upstairs and you go down the aisle or down the hallway and you're not even saying a word and there's people looking at it, you know, like, who's that for? <laughs> well, there's one child. They all are my favorites, but he's my little extra favorite child. And I just love him to death. And uh, he seemed like he understands when I'm talking to him, when I'm around him. I got a nickname that I call him. And... Uh, He'll throw his toy, toy down so you can pick it up. And he'll start to grinning and he'll throw it down again because he wants you to pick it up again. 
Hey, Zig Zig. Hey, Zig Zig. Hey, you, Zig Zig. It do all right, hood. It do all right, Zig Zig. <laughs> At night, I would bring a couple kids down to work with us on night stuff. Like, you know, trying to get them in a trade. Like, I'd be stripping and waxing the floor or cleaning. And I said, this is a job that you could do the rest of your life and make money and raise a family. One child, one grown, well, he's a grown man now, but he was one of the boys here. And I came in the lobby and he was there. And he said, Brian, I'm doing what you're doing. When you told me that, that's what I'm doing now. Wow. And what really blesses me is when, you know, one of the children come up and they, they hug you. And they say, hi, Mr. Vic, how you doing? And things of that nature. And you see a smile on their face. And if you can say something to them that's going to help them positively in life, you know, and they receive that. Oh, you talk about a great joy. It's a great joy. I've, and I just, I love them. I love them. It's hard to think about where the kids been. I think more about where they going, you know, and what the future holds for them. I just feel like here they're in a good place and they have values to, to continue to have a good, healthy life. What we do here, 24-7, around the clock, is to touch the hearts and minds of the people that we care for, to be able to educate and enrich them and their families, uh, and to provide care uh, at an excellence level that only the home is known for. I treat these children just like they're a man, because after all, we are their family here at the home, you know, and we need to treat them like we are they family at home. And that's what I believe, you know, because they look forward to us to take care of them. And that's what we're supposed to do. It's about these kids, the fragile kids, the abused kids, the neglected kids. I want to work and take care of them and help them and keep the place clean until I can't any longer. They didn't choose to go through what they've gone through. They didn't choose that. So, you know, if we can be a comfort to them or help to them in their going through, you know, it's worth it. It's, it's worth it. You know, you just put them first, you know, and it's just make you feel good that you can do that. At the home here, it takes everybody doing their job. If you're a nurse, a CNA, administration, whatever you are, it takes everybody doing their job, whether you're sweeping the floors, cleaning the toilets, building a wheelchair, it takes everybody putting their effort out to do the job to keep this place going and uh, for a good purpose. We have these incredibly dedicated people that show up every single day. They do all these incredible things for our children and our children flourish as a result of that. And so these people in the background that I get the joy to walk alongside are truly the unsung heroes here at the home.